What's going on, folks? It's your man, Jay. So today we're going to be talking about the Galaxy S10 5G. So this has officially come up for pre-order. Uh, I've been under the weather again. <laughs> this weather, man, it's like 30 degrees, freezing rain, and the next day it's 90 degrees hot outside. Uh, but I don't know when this popped up, but I haven't been online a lot. Uh, I've been just trying to rest and um, trying to get over this. So, But the 5G has come up, right? And my concerns are, I wanna buy the Galaxy S10 Plus because I never got it. Uh, and I wanted to try a bigger phone. However, the Note 10 will be out in what, four to four months, maybe five months, you know? So it's a matter of grabbing this or getting the Note 10. I uh, don't want both, uh, I've kinda, uh, gotten to the point where I, I want one Samsung device and, and you know, basically, uh, or, uh, possibly, I shouldn't say possibly, I might just roll with the Galaxy Note 9, uh, because I don't know what's going to be up with the Galaxy, uh, Note 10. I know it might be good. However, I wonder if it's going to be good to the tone of like two grand or 1700. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that I always think about. You know what I mean? Like when I'm purchasing phones and stuff like that. So, um, in this discussion video, because this is just a discussion video, it's about the Galaxy S10 5G. You can now pre-order it, and it'll be ready on May 17th, and that's like three weeks away. So you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? Now, this is just the Verizon version that is technically outright. That's going to up this off a pre-order. Nothing from anybody else, because Verizon is technically the only company that has displayed some real 5G or what could possibly be 5G. You know, the videos are out there. You've seen them. People getting five, six hundred down. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They might be standing right under a tower, but hey, it's there. So, and it's only like in like one or two cities, I believe. But the fact that they're doing it, man, is that's what's up. You got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, but this phone right here, if you want to get the 512, uh, it is 1400 bucks uh, or $60 a month for 24 months uh, if you like go through Samsung's website. Uh, but, um, that's before taxes. So basically 1500 bucks for this phone. You got to ask yourself, am I really wanting to spend that kind of money on a device? And I, you know, I want to tell you, Hey, it's your money. If you like it, love it, get it, grab it. Uh, the, the obviously the 5G version is going to have that, you know, it's got the extra camera and stuff like that. And a few more tweaks here and there, you know, it's going to be pretty good. It looks like, you know what I'm saying? And I really want it, but, um, I'm just in my want phase. I don't have to have it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like, um, it's like that review phone. You know, it, I don't know that I would use it as a primary phone. Uh, and like I said, I think I said it already, but I might rock with the Galaxy Note 9, you know, just because I know it's going to be like 500 bucks. Right now it's 600. And then I can go ahead and grab that Alpine White that I've put off all this time. Remember I said I wasn't going to get it? And I haven't. I didn't pull the trigger because I already had a Galaxy Note, but I've sold that Galaxy Note. So, uh, or else just get me another silver, you know what I'm saying? Just call it a day. But um, I really feel like the Galaxy S10 5G is probably going to be really good. You know, uh, the differences between that and the S10, do your own research, man. Go to go to go on the web, put the phone side by side, see what you see. Uh, but I think that the, the Galaxy S10 5G um, is, a, is a hard pass for me because... Right now, we're, we're, again, we're not even experiencing 4G right now, like that we could, you know, unless I go stand under a tower because of all the people that are on the networks. You know what I'm saying? So um, I pretty much stay on Wi-Fi uh, in the house when I'm out, in the, you know what I'm saying? But when I'm out and about, I get some pretty decent speeds, speeds between 30 and 70, you know what I'm saying, on T-Mobile's LTE network. That's pretty good. But nothing really compares to Wi-Fi, you know. I have one gigabit Wi-Fi, gigabit internet, and... um my Wi-Fi here is like between three and 600, you know, uh, depending on which device I'm using, whoever has the best Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, and, um, you know, my internet is obviously, I'm getting like 900 plus for when I'm hardwired. Uh, and so it's just, it's a major win for me, you know what I'm saying? So what do you think about this uh, pre-order for the Galaxy S10 5G? Has there anybody out there on Verizon pulled the, and the Verizon phones are pretty much unlocked anyway. So you probably could buy this and then just go ahead and, you know, put your other SIM card in there. You know what I'm saying? Activate it with Verizon or not even do that. I don't know. I don't know how it works anymore because I canceled my Verizon account a long time ago. Uh, but what do you think about that? You ready for 5G? If it's going to be real 5G, 
I like that stuff that AT and T is talking about five G E. I don't know what that's about, but um, the phones are coming. Uh, are you going to wait for the five G version of the Note Ten? Are you going to keep your Galaxy Note Nine? Are you even sold on this five G thing? Shout out in the comments, man. It's your man Jay. Oh yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Gotta go.